mengampuni imbah dengan ketenteraan lah. So kalau advice daripada segi kejayaan sebenarnya uh, kita boleh dikatakan engineering yang kita belajar ni sekarang ni bersifat tradisional lah. Bersifat tradisional dan juga kelas-kelas yang kita ambil dan juga field yang kita ambil ni traditional engineering sebenarnya ataupun teknologi-teknologi yang dah traditional lah. Sebab nowadays dunia bergerak pantas dan sekarang dia boleh katakan dalam keadaan open university lah sebenarnya. Sebab apa yang saya belajar pun the last five years sebenarnya mostly daripada YouTube lah. YouTube and then some exploring on searching, googling dan semuanya berkaitan dengan online lah teknologi. So yang menepuhi cabaran di alam kerja nanti uh, dalam industri engineering ni masih ada lagi yang selamat daripada segi sektor pekerjaan. Salah satunya engineering yang berkaitan dengan kesihatan, satu. Duanya keteteraan. Uh, tiganya lebih kepada uh, inovasi lah yang saya boleh rasakan. Inovasi. So saya agak uh, apa yang kita ada petang ni, sebab sikit saya boleh share dan juga komen uh, apa yang boleh lah. Saya pun tak nak ambil masa terlampau lama sebab dah mula lambat. So saya sekarang kembali kepada Cik Rafi. Okay, masih. Okay, thank you uh, Encik Mazwan. Okay, so far any question for the student to Encik Mazwan? Azhar Muhammad Noor, you have question? Before that you have lot question? Azhar Muhammad Noor. Um. <laughs> Saya, kalau saya bagi soalan nanti panjang pula je. <laughs> tak apa satu soalan. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Tak ada masalah. Tu Encik Mahmu. Ni disebabkan kebanyakan uh, companies dia akan cari someone yang ada potential. So as saya, saya ada uh, berfikir nak jadi design engineer. Kalau nak first step, tak ada first step. Kalau boleh lah Encik bagi macam Um, view sebagai seorang yang memang dah uh, design engineer apa dia punya uh, dari pandangan encik uh, pengalaman encik dengan encik punya apa nama um, point of view as a design engineer macam mana spek kerja dia ah uh, tu yang saya cari tadi panjang lama saya nak cari perkataan tu okey okey dah So dalam design engineer ni actually uh, semua orang boleh design. In fact saya punya rakan kerja tapi dia boleh buat design. Sebab dia lebih kepada explore CAD. Kan computer edit design. Dia lebih kepada exploring. You can learn from YouTube. You can learn from tutorial. You can learn from a books. You can learn from banyak resource untuk belajar to be CAD engineer. But somehow, apa yang lebih penting dan saya tengok dalam kalangan fresh grad yang masuk dalam kaki. Know-how tak ada. Know-how tu maksudnya, apa yang Tapi selepas tu, selepas you design tu macam mana you nak hasilkan barang tu. Contoh, you nak buat drone hari ni, you nak pakai, let's say, carbon fiber. Saya contoh carbon fiber. You nak buat dia berpengaruh. Kita you nak buat, nak hasilkan carbon fiber. Nak buat mold. Behind Cik of Mazuan, the design. Encik Mazuan, mungkin boleh tutup kamera dulu. Encik Mazuan, bila suara sangkut-sangkut. Encik Mazuan boleh tutup kamera dulu kot, saya rasa. Okay. Suara sangkut-sangkut, maybe okay, line okay. kurang clear. Okay, so clear ke eh? Clear, clear. Clear, clear, clear. clear. Okay, saya berhenti dekat. Okay, behind engineering design ni actually manufacturing. Macam mana daripada design you, 
Sama ada design you ni boleh dihas- menghasilkan barang ataupun you shock dia sebenarnya. Eh? Shock sendiri. Contoh, carbon fiber. Tapi you tak ada pun knowledge carbon fiber. Nak buat mall ke, so you kena explore macam mana nak hasilkan carbon fiber. So, bidang kerja ke design engineer ni sebenarnya related benda ke yang paling penting customer jugalah semua. You nak hasilkan satu barang, barang tu boleh diterima Eh, Mazwan tak dengar apa lah, tak dengar apa. Sorry lah, connection dia kurang baik lah. Tak apa. Sir lah yang sambung. Okay, tak apa sir. Ha, tak apa, tak apa. Boleh? Okay. Malam-malam memang macam ni, sir. Uh, ramai sangat orang tengok Netflix ni rasanya. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you Encik uh, Nak Mazwan. Maybe we can proceed with uh, our main agenda lah. Okay, I will make okay, okay. before start maybe maybe I will uh, it, uh, intro about the presentation PPI rule. Okay, each group required to present within 10 minutes and then after that 5 minutes will spend for question and answer from panel, lecturer or audience. Okay, the the second one, each group, yeah, maybe kalau group number 1, all group number 1 member require to Uh, open camera. Maksudnya kena on, turn on camera. Yang tu saya bagi tetapi uh, kalau in case have a connection problem uh, kita boleh uh, boleh bagi apa, negotiation lah. Maybe internet connection problem. Okay and then all student require to join this presentation until end of the session. Maksudnya semua kena join lah. Kita tengok Encik Noor Mazwan comment macam mana to improve your project. Okay. Right now, our our timekeeper is uh, Nazira. Nazira is okay? Ready? Hello, Nazira. Ada tak ada? Ada. Nazira. Ada. Okay, kalau timekeeper, kalau dah sampai 8 minit, awak kena tekan reaction ni. Tunjuk gambar tangan ni. Time up. Okay, kalau ada time up uh, sekali, kalau dua kali maksud dia, uh, masa dah habis. Okay Nazira, try letak time up. Saya tengok. Letak time up. Ha? Time up tu maksud dia dah 8 minit. Okay. Nazira, try tunjuk time up. Okay. Tak ada pun Nazira. Tekan time up. Tekan reaction ni. Awak kan berjaga masa kena tekan ni. Time up ni. Ha. Ni maksud dia dah 8 minit. Okay yang saya nampak I, Aiman. Nazirah saya tak nampak. Kena buka kamera lah kan. Aduh, Aiman tu kenapa? Kena buka kamera lah. Kena buka kamera kan. Siapa yang tak ada problem boleh on ni kamera. Saya dah buka kamera saya. Dah buka lah tapi tak nampak pun time up. Okay, sekarang dah okay. Try, try buat time up saya tengok. Okay, dah ada. Dah nampak. Okay, alright. Okay, and then one more thing I need to inform to our panel. Actually, this session 100% will record and then will upload in YouTube lah. Alright? Okay, maybe we can proceed with group number one. Apa? Apa Encik Mazman? Okay, boleh kita mulakan dengan group nombor satu lah, nombor one. You start with group nombor one. Boleh. Okay. Test, test. Tengah saya. Alright, alright. Clear, clear. Good. Tak, saya kena remind panel sekejap. Okay, okay. Group nombor satu. Faham.
Okay, group one, you can start right now. Uh, semua nampak screen tak? Alright. Uh, slide. Uh, nampak lah. Nampak eh? Alright. Uh, okay, okay. Okay, uh, Arisa boleh start. Uh, Arisa. Tengok, hilang pula saya je ayah. Uh, saya rasa uh, Arisa tengah problem mic sir. Dia ada connection problem sir. Uh. Hello. Oh, tu lah, saya muncul lah. Okay, okay. Dengar? Okay. Boleh dengar tak? Boleh, boleh. boleh. Dengar, dengar, dengar. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, start, Aisyah. Uh, okay, start. Uh, kamera okay? Okay, okay. Okay, okay sorry for the technical problem. I'm sit at Sabah. The line is not clear here. Okay, I start the presentation. With Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And very good evening to Mr. Muhammad Rafi bin Omar, our lecturer class for VMMA 2353 Modeling and Analysis Computer. And to Mr. Norma Mazwan, I'm very grateful for being able to spend some time as a panel today for our presentation. And to all beloved friends in VMMA S1-1. Today, We are from group one, we'll present our final project or PBL problem-based learning. I hope you all enjoy the presentation. Okay, if you see this is slide uh, for our group member, we are from group number one. We have uh, Muhammad Akimi, our manager in organization. And we have Muhammad Erisha, that is me. My role in organization is financial. And we have Shahril, our assistant manager. And we have Ayman, the designer, and lastly, we have Iman as a technician. That's all from me for opening. I will pass the next slide to Muhammad Akimi, our manager, for introduction. Uh, introduction. I will see you again at the next slide for structural analysis. Thank you. Uh, our company name is Sky uh, High Tech, uh, and our motto is uh, make our life for easier and better with technology. Our mission is using the latest technology and system to manage quality project. And our vision is to move forward with the diversity of globalization and focus on the pursuit of excellency. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, the title of our newest design invention is a surveillance drone or name ROI. Our objective is to create a new design of drone for surveillance purpose to identify the main challenge of handling drones being used as a monitoring purpose and to overcome the challenge of handling it. And our scope is focused on construction personnel who want to make their life and work easier to monitor large scale of workers, especially in dense and crowded areas such as urban areas and narrow building. Uh, next slide. Uh, next. Uh, the problem statement why we focus on developing ROI is because through our investigation and data collecting from major company, we find that it is not easy and required longer allocation for 
conventional monitoring of process progress for large scale project we also find that construction personnel cannot handle various tasks and required many requirements such as safety gear safety safety training professional certificate and soon that kind of waste of time so to solve all of this problem that many construction company were striving we would glad to introduce to our project Aero I. Okay, next I pass it to uh, Muhammad Imran. Assalamualaikum. Ya. Salam. Okay, our team uh, make concept design sketching for three concept drawn. For the first drone, the, the description uh, we made for 9.1 kilo, flight time 15 to 25 minutes. The speed of this first sketching design, 18 minutes per second. And our advantage for this first drone is it has advanced components for K camera and lens with a wide angle of 20 mm and this drone can fly in crowded and narrow area so the disadvantage for the first design is the price is expensive because it has combination of several additive parts okay for the second sketch design um we put the weight uh, for 4.4 kilo the flight time 50 minutes and the speed is 12 minute per second and then advantage meter per second and advantage is easy to store because light and flexible can carry equipment weighing up to 11 kilo and support display with quality up to uh, 1080 HD life the disadvantage is it is limited to fly um, because it has load large load to be carried so the last design we put the weight same as the uh, first drone 9.1 kilo Flight time also 15 to 25 minutes and the speed same as the first drone, 18 meters per second. And advantage for this drone has six batteries and allow it to fly longer. Support display with quality up to 1080 HD. Retractable landing gear allows it to make 360 degree rotation of the camera. And the disadvantage for this uh, less design sketching is less suitable for more challenging flight when flying close to human. Next slide. So um, we decide to choose the first sketching uh, because this design has all the specification that our product needs, such as uh, longer flying time, powerful engine, and most important is easy and remote. So this drone uh, also has advanced component compared to other drone. So lastly, this drone got the most mark from us uh, by the metric selection. I will pass the um, slide to Mohamed Nur Iman. Thank you. Okay, uh, Bismillah and Assalamualaikum. Okay, so now I will, I will be presenting about the Narrow eye part diagram. Okay, so this is our drone diagram. Okay, so for the first part, I will explain to you about the blade. Okay, so this is the drone blade. Okay, so why we choose this blade? Okay, this is because the blade is made from ABS plastic and it is lightweight and cheap price. Okay, next. Okay, the drone motor. Okay, so why we choose this drone motor? Okay, this is because this drone motor is widely used after market. So uh, right now, uh, many drone out there use this uh, drone motor. Okay, uh, next, the drone camera. Okay, so why we choose this camera? This is because this camera is a VR camera. It can capture HD image and 4K video. So like you know, this drone use VR camera so it can capture wide angle image. Okay, next the drone arm. Okay, so this drone arm is um, 
made from ABS plastic and this drone arm can be full okay for the last part okay this is the top cover for the drone okay it is made from aluminium and the shape is aerodynamic shape this is why the shape of the drone is circle up okay i think that's all from aero drone parts i will pass to arisa for analysis structure Can you hear me? Can, can. Okay, hi. We meet again. This time for hi. analysis. We have four types of analysis, which is worn missile stress analysis, displacement analysis, deformation analysis, and safety of factor analysis. So for the first is the worn missile stress. Worn missile stress is the value for determining whether a material can withstand if given a lot from our result, it produced a yield pressure whose maximum value is 2.5600 exponent positive 3 megapascal and minimum value is 2.4741 exponent negative 5 megapascal. After we apply 50 kg load on the surface as shown in the figure at the slide. ABS plastic was used to produce blade and arm and aluminium was used to produce the casing stand and the base because these two materials need light in weight and reduce cost the focus point of the stress is on the arm and casing based on result when apply the 50 kg lot to drone the arm produce high stress because of the material is not suitable we can conclude that design will not fail even we apply the max max weight that we expected from the study okay next The second analysis is the displacement. Displacement can be defined as the upward movement movement of individual point structural system due to the external load. Based on result, we get 7.1117 exponent plus 2 for the maximum value and 1.1462 exponent negative 3 for minimum, minimum value. Displacement will not affect the product function. It will also not cause the material to break because it is still in electricity phase because the bone misses pressure is still under the producing pressure. The product also not change place during the analysis and not change the design of product because it is small to observe and it will change back into position and shape after the force is relieved from the contact point. Okay, next. Okay, the next slide is okay. The next slide is the deformation analysis. Deformation analysis occurs when a lot of force is applied and causes the material material to change shape. There are many types of deformation. For example, elastic deformation when a temporary shape change itself after apply the load, and when remove the load, it's returned back to original shape. Deformation occur by many aspects. It depends on Type of material size, geometry of the object, and the amount of force applied. Based on result, the material that has been tested through three consecutive stages. First, it will be elastic deformation, and second, the ductile deformation. Okay, next. Okay, lastly is the safety of factor. The safety of factor is the ratio between strength versus pressure. If the strength of material is so high, so the pressure is low. After we got the value of the safety of factor by determining the load to be carried by our product and appreciate material suitable for specific application and load. The value of safety of factor is 3.53, where its safety low exceeding 1 and the high safety That's below than 5. Okay, maybe okay, you, you can for... jump to conclusion. They jump to completion. Right. Thank you, sir. I will pass the slide to the Muhammad Sharil Ashraf. Conclusion.
So I am my name is Thomas So I will explain about computer. So we have learned much about computer. Tasha, you talk game game Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We also, his progress was talked into combining parts to make an assembly by fixing and constraining them together in the correct way. We also learn and study how to design of a ROI drone using software SimSolid. Uh, to analysis the product to get the result of the images. Finally, our objective on making this drone is achieved as ROI drone can overcome the challenge of handling drone as a progress monitoring tool on the construction site. That's all. Okay, thank you, group one. Now maybe we proceed with question and answer. Uh, Encik Nomazan, do you have a question? Okay, uh, please we turn back for conclusion slide, please. Okay, so challenge of handling drone and progress monitoring tool and construction site. So this conclusion is more means progress monitoring tool, right? Yeah. So, daripada Thank analysis you. yang di Ari, Ari eh? Apa? Sorry, nama? Arisa. Aris. Arisa. Arisa. Okay. So, dia punya, you punya analysis saya banyak dengar load yang dia nak Maksudnya load tu eh Kalau is is monitoring and construction On the construction je Ada sir Ada eh Kalau ada explain lah macam mana Buat, buat boundary condition berapa kilo Buat tu Ah, explain sikit kat cik Benuma hmm. tu silakan. Sebab uh, sebab saya lah you banyak mention about the lot kat bawah which is even KG or banyak lah numbers yang you sebut tadi tapi is kalau dia untuk monitoring is it purpose ada purpose untuk dia ada load kat load Okay, pas masa uh, analisis tu, kita orang try apply lot 20 kg to 30 kg. So, masa analisis tu, dia tak ada perubahan. So, kita orang apply untuk 50 kg. Okay, okay. Bukan, apply. Arisa. Soalan ni macam ni. Okay, 20 ke 30 uh, kg tu awak assume benda apa? Kau nak bawa uh, something ke apa tak? Benda tu yang Cik Nau Mazwan tanya. Lot oh, tu awak oh, represent oh. tu apa? Sebenarnya. Ha. Sis tu you buat untuk apa? Apa sebenarnya drone ni? Dia untuk surveillance tapi dia bawa uh, ni box tu, dia punya load box, lepas tu dia punya load untuk stand, arm semua. So kita orang assume untuk start fly tu 20 kg. Ah. Yes. So Actually, kalau untuk monitoring tool, masa you buat, you design tu, consider dia punya berat. Which is berapa motor, berapa the body itself. You dah boleh address the weight material dalam design. 
ni kita boleh letakkan berapa properties barang tu kita dah boleh tahu berat dia berapa. Nanya lah. More, more accurate sebenarnya dia punya calculation tu. Ha. Sebab sebab saya bila you cakap nak bawa load 20kg saya assume actually drone tu nak bawa barang. Dia fly dia bawa barang. Ha. Itu saya punya assumption lah bila uh, uh, you more talking about okay load kita nak 20 kg and then and then for the conclusion saya baca for monitoring. Ha. So saya that's why I, I asking if this drone for on what purpose lah. Ha. So uh, ini just and I tapi boleh eh. Actually design, you dah kena tahu dah barang yang you nak pakai tu berapa berat. Belik dia berapa gram, motor dia berapa gram, bateri berapa gram. Actually you can find and define the weight from ah, macam ni sir. Supplier. You can ah, so, ah. Macam ni sir. Uh, macam ni. Untuk brand tak drone ni eh. Kami, uh, kami dah check dekat Sim Solid. Berat drone ni dia berat 227 kg. Untuk mm -hmm. yang 50 kg yang load ni, ni kami apply untuk pressure sir. Untuk analisis. Okay. Uh, macam tu. Kalau nak work, so, drone tu batu buta. Ha, berat ni 220. 27 kg. 27 kg. Berapa total berat? Berapa? 220. 27 kg. Uh, tak logik, tak logik. Awak punya drone mungkin awak dah lukis solid part yang saya buat pun lebih kurang dalam 20 ke 30 kg reasonable. But mungkin kalau mungkin terlalu banyak material sir. Mungkin terlalu banyak material kot. Ha uh, mungkin. Tu pun sampai 200 kg baru Snack motor kat chai lah motor kat chai. <laughs> motor 150 cc ke bawah Motor Itu 150 cc You talking about more Like Mini Superbike lah kan Macam 250 punya motor So tak logik sebenarnya You punya berat ni Tu lah tak tahu macam mana juga, macam Then, Dia pakai untuk monitoring Buat apa you nak berat-berat Sedangkan I can I can walk Walk to any shop Yang jual drone Maybe dia less dalam 30 kilo paling tinggi. Paling tinggi lah tu. Okay. Okay, okay. Jangan rasa apa ni lah. Ni lah. Just, just another side of view lah sebenarnya. Bila you buat something yang you rasa dah sampai 100, 200, berapa? 230 kilo. Okay. Ah, bila macam tu rasa? Sama dengan you design. Something wrong, something wrong. Okay, okay, okay. okay, I have one question last. Okay, untuk drone yang awak design ni, possible untuk fabricate ke tak? Awak dah buat bit of material yang macam saya request sebelum ni. Bit of material and then possible tak saya untuk fabricate? Because possible ke tak untuk fabricate? Maksudnya awak ni buat part pelik-pelik ke? Awak ada ambil benchmark ke? Motor awak ambil standard part ke macam mana? Uh, ni saya serah dengan manager saya lah sir. Haa bagi manager. Boleh kan? Haa uh, ya sir. Okay. Saya berikit sir. Saya dah yes. saya berikit cover dia sir. Mana? Haa uh, Iman uh, Silakan tunjuk cover. Haa <laughs> Kili dia besar ke mana eh, you punya drone ni eh? Dimension, rough dimension. Uh. Lebar ke tinggi? Sebab you talking about 230 kg. Itu dalam sim solid lah sir. Tapi okay. dia punya berat dalam katia. Dalam 2 meter sir. Uh, 2 dia meter. Bawa, dia punya... Ya sebab ma, 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 
Ah, oh. dia punya diameter oh. dua, ah, diameter dia dua, dua, dua meter, yes. Sebab yang tu yang Sir Rafi ah, cakap dengan kami, kena follow dia punya, is, ah, ni lah, dia punya... Spek. 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 Ah, spek. Ah, ya, spek. Ah. So, kami buat tu bukan ah, atas diri kami sendiri, kami kena ikut spek yang Sir Rafi buat. So, ah, benda tu sebenarnya cabaran lah untuk kami untuk buat benda tu. Betul tak Sir Rafi? Ya, lah, saya macam ke terpaksa tunjuk something kepada Encik Mazwan tu Supaya kita... Sekejap eh Sorry eh, makan masuk sikit Encik Mazwan Tak apa, tak apa Okay, okay uh, Actually, benda ni saya bagi dekat dia guideline Guideline maksudnya dia kena follow Customer nak apa, dia kena follow lah Customer bagi nak saiz-saiz ni Bukan fit, ah, awak nak design bentuk Any kind, type bentuk tak kita tapi dia yeah, ada guideline. Yeah. Kalau buat kereta pun, kita ada apa? Kereta segmen B, segmen C. Semua ada yeah. guideline. Nah, mungkin Cik okay, Nur Mazlan boleh Shafiq. tambah sikit. Okay. Muhammad Syafiq. Yes, yeah. Macam okay. tadi okay. tadi Dua Cik Nur Mazlan dah. Ya. Okey, Cik Nur Mazlan dah cakap. Tadi Cik tadi okay, Cik, okay. Tadi cik sendiri dah cakap. Uh, Uh, masa introduction Cik cakap tu, kita uh, akan hadapi uh, masalah dengan customer, apa yang customer nak Saya dah dapat dah tadi apa yang se, uh, Cik Mazlan cakap awal-awal tadi Cik dah mention tadi, uh. so saya uh, ulang balik benda ni dekat tempat ni Macam tu, okay baik, terima kasih Siapa yang Cik Mazlan tutup kamera sekejap pun, saya tak dengar ni Sekejap tutup kamera sekejap, sorry Yeah. Cik Syafiq ni berasal pada Cedah ke? <laughs> saya berasal daripada Pulau Pinang Cik ah. oh. So kalau oh. dalam pasang Pulau Pinang ni nak nak oh. repair okay, phone okay. ke, nak buat apa-apa okay. ke boleh Roja? Okay. Oh satu kampung ni Cik Nur Mazwan So macam ni Syafiq? Macam ni Syafiq? Ya yeah. ya yeah, yeah. Bila bila customer first, bila customer minta, betul lah macam you cakap kan Customer minta 2 yeah. meter, debitor apa semua tu, betul Saya terima lah, saya terima betul. Tapi kalau kata 200 kg, saya tak boleh terima Betul, sebab tu lah, maybe daripada situ uh, kami punya kesilapan sendiri sebab you know, Kami punya, lagi pun sekarang ni uh, Macam saya cakap lah, kalau kami ada dekat you Dekat universiti sendiri, kami boleh solve ma- uh, masalah ni dengan Cik Rafi sendiri Cumanya bila kami berada di sini uh, Macam uh, kami nak, saya sendiri cakap lah Saya dengan member-member group saya 2 hingga 5 pagi video call untuk solvekan benda ni Kalau kami ada dekat sana, kami boleh jumpa uh, berdepan Kalau macam tu lah Dia daripada situ, kami dah ada masalah kat situ untuk solve benda ni agak Agak bila kita dah tahu run analysis Benda tu dah 200 hmm. kg Alamak Macam mana kita nak buat? Kita pun duduk jejo So nak stop nak, Sekali nak call kawan ni uh, tengah duduk bawa motor Kawan ni duduk tengah duduk repair phone Kawan ni duduk tengah buat assignment So benda tu pun alamak Macam tu lah uh, Tapi saya faham Apa yang customer nak nak Kita kena uh, patuhi, kita kena buat Tapi bila dah dapat 200 kg ni uh, Yang tu memang salah kami sendiri So dekat situ Sir Rafi boleh lah tolak markah sikit aku sikit. <laughs> so saya share sikit eh. Saya share sikit real life situation lah. Real life situation apa yang you hadapi ni Cik Syafi eh. Okay. Airbus boleh, 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 380. Boleh. Airbus 380 kapal paling besar kat dunia sekarang ni. Betul? Okay. Betul. Okay. Wing dia sebenarnya okay. dia buat dekat Europe. Lah kan. Saya rasa dia hmm. North North Europe kot Utara Europe And then dia punya okay. body dekat Jerman kot Something macam tu lah So okay. apa berlaku Bila dia uh, Wing dia buat dekat Europe Bila hantar ke Jerman Dia tak boleh sell Sebab satu Oh faham, faham 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 Ya yeah. uh-huh. Dia punya wire connect Wing connector So dia buat dia, Yang buat wing tu dah ikut dah Apa yang customer nak sebenarnya Betul so, Okay Betul Cuma Yang
Ni kalau ada depan-depan ni seronok sembang ni tak tipu lah. <laughs> Ah, okay. Dia macam dia, dia macam ni Jabik eh. Berbalik dengan cerita Boy yeah. tadi, kesilapan okay. kesilapan orang yang dapat tu dia tak confirm balik dengan customer dia. Oh. Ah, so bila you dapat 300, you duduk ke mana pun, you make you make a call, phone call. <laughs> Tanya Cik Rafi ada masalah eh. Tapi good good answer <laughs> sebenarnya. Good answer, good answer. Okay. Saya boleh terima lah juga. Okay. Untuk pelajar tahun 2 yang boleh lawan spot tak. Tapi saya duduk lain bagi saya Cik Rafi eh. Group 4 sahaja. Ha, ah, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, masih, okay, okay, thank you. Masih group 1. Okay, thank you. Maybe hmm. we need to proceed with group 2 because dah lebih 30 minit saya tu. Lama dah ni. Sorry. Tak mikir bah. Okay. Tak apa, mereka tidur sampai pukul 3 pagi kan selalunya. Sorry for my mistake. Okay, alright, alright. Thank you, thank you. Good presentation. We proceed with group number two. Okay, can we proceed with group number two? Okay, Bo. Okay, please. Hello, hello. Alright, alright, alright. Clear, clear. Hi everyone, good evening. Uh, we are group two from BMMS 11. So our group uh, consists of five person. The first one is Bonji Sian, which is me, Chui Juan, Mohana, Senja Chen, and Haja Chao. So now I will start my presentation. So our company name is Power Teach. So the meaning of the power is we want to produce the product very really powerful, heavy duty, and durable to use. And the meaning for the teach is we want we will always use advanced technology in our product, and we also want to produce a company with full of technology in the future. So this is the uh, logo for our company. So our logo is based on inspirational principle. So the hand indicate that we will keep it up in our product development, and we will never give up when facing any problem. The lightning indicate that we will give. I will serve it as fast as possible, like the learning, but at the same time, come up the product with unique and quality. The power in the logo is indicate our company name, which is Power Teach. So we have four main objectives of our company. The first one is produce powerful, heavy duty, and durable product using the strongest and durable material and some recycled material to produce our product to help this work to reduce some environment issue and to produce a product very affordable and to make our product become mm -hmm. diversification to evolving our life as far as possible. So our company established on 5 of May 2021 in Malacca, Malaysia and as a form of sharing by five youth students and we also decide to invite more talent people to join our company to improve the type of product as many as possible. So our company mission is to deliver powerful, heavy duty, and multifunctional commercial drone, and to reduce the usage of manpower and increase the productivity, and to overcome the existing technical limitation in every industry. And the vision for our company is to expand the business within 10 years to oversee to promote every industry development in Malaysia, and to become the best company of product that to of produce commercial drone. So this is the organization chart for our companies. So our CEO is Mr. Chung Juan, CIO is Mr. Bon Jishen, and COO is Han Mr. Hanja Charles, and uh, CFO is Mr. Chen Jia Sheng, and CPM is the Mr. Mohana Krishnan. So next, I will pass the presentation to Mah Mr. Mohana. Uh, thank you, Bobo. Uh, now I want to explain about our introduction and background theory. Uh, first, our drone name is FarmTech Air Predictor. Because we put this name is, uh, we mostly concentrate for farm. And then uh, the tech is represent to technology. Uh, and then the air is control process is to the air. The predictor is we designed to kill the insect and other of organism. Uh, next slide. Uh, our objective is to help 
optimize agriculture operation and increase crop production and monitor global uh, to help limit uh, human contact with fertilizer, pesticide and other harmful chemical. Uh, to prove useful is improving crop yield and the farm efficient. And then to identify some technique to improve design and failure during analysis. Next slide. Our scope is uh, uh, renewable agriculture by offering farm farmers major cost saving and uh, exchange efficiency and more pro profitability. And then to optimize both farm productivity and probably possibility based on a real time field information to so protecting the environment, which can be a turning point to success. Next slide. Next. Uh. Ah, the problem statement is the main problem that uh, we found is uh, the insect. The insect are damaged their group with the uh, decrease the productivity and ants are killed by use of some predisease. Frequently, the uh, agriculture field faces destruction losses due to the uh, disease in group. And then uh, the spray need a lot of manpower because it's many process to spray and it follow rules and regulations because the fertilizers affect humans. Uh, next. uh the team member jobs uh they have uh five position uh, first is chief executive officer chief information officer chief organization officer chief finance officer and chief programming officer the job mm -hmm. scope is first uh chief executive officer is make decision and lead the project development uh for chief information officer they are highly technical person who are oversee the information technology department and group members the chief organization officer they are responsibility for the daily operation of the company and the chief financial officer they are responsibility to the financials and the chief program officer i assist the financial and documentation with all the information gathering during the meeting next uh the briefing explanation on the device uh the our farm tech app predictor application in agriculture range for mapping the surviving to Crop, group testing and spraying. Uh, our drone are uh, remote control aircraft with human pilot on board. And then our drone, such as uh, this area capability for spraying crop with a far more precaution than the traditional tractor. And next. Uh, this is our sketching overview. Uh, uh, we have uh, many changes in our uh original product next i passing uh, my presentation to Bon to explain the concept design thank you okay uh i will be got i'm jason i'll be presenting this concept design uh from the concept design the fan we use is mainly of the binary principle that make it to create a lift next So for the next mechanism concept design of this drone is the sprinkler. The sprinkler uh, consists of the swirly, swirly chamber. Swirly chamber is to make the sprinkle water, the sprinkle, the pesticide, pesticide in a circular motion. So it can cover in a wide area. And the next one is the drone arm. Drone arm is to retract itself to the left. So we can make some space for other things to be moved together with next so this is our hoq house of quality of our company so the this is the customer requirement and the engineering requirement for the top of the okay uh, for the most important is the safety and functionality and the, these two is the most important Okay, for next one, this is the roof of the house of quality. So the legend is the previous slide. Next, okay, uh, I will pass it to the uh, Mr. Jackson. Okay, so now I will to uh, start <laughs> development. Okay, so on our material selection, so this is our material selection for every part. So you can just roughly see for 
this propellers is made out of polystyrene and the fan model made of metal, arms, um, aluminium. Uh, next. Okay, so the bill of material. So this is uh, the parts that we use then and the quantity. Yeah. So there's six propellers, six arms, six mot uh, motor fans, and one engine like that, uh, and the six spring sprinkles. Uh. Okay, next. Okay, so this one is our cost calculation. So mostly, uh, so just now I tell you the material selection. So we just basically put here and then we add up by part for each component and then we times with the quality and then we total up. Total cost is, uh, this is Ringgit Malaysia, uh, 17,628 Ringgit and 58 cents. Because of the engine uh, is very uh, expensive a bit. Okay, so now I will proceed to the product identification. So our product is Comtech Air, Air Predator. So the main function is to use to reduce our manpower and withstand the long term of the sun. Uh. So this is our main purpose and also very easy to use uh, for controlling and managing. Okay, next. So for the physical description, so our product is made out of uh, 2,119.194 mm uh, times with 1,044 and 658 uh, six meter and 538.772 for the uh, volume. Okay, next. And the, and the maximum weight is 50 kg. Okay, for the market identification is, we target is self 5,000 units per year in Malaysia. Okay, next. So manufacturing spec is, this made out uh, made in Malaysia, 100%. So we can use it uh, locally. Lah. So, we, uh, yeah. Okay, now, now I will be, uh, pass to uh, John again. Well, I'll be presenting the assembly of the... project. Assembly. So this is our project uh, assembly. So it consists of six, six fans, six motor, six arms, and uh, and the engine casing with brackets and brackets and the stand. So the design of this is from Google. Thank you. Next. <laughs> Answer, answer. Answer, answer. 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 So now I'll present about the structural analysis. First of all is the displacement. Displacement, if an object moves relative to a reference frame, then the object's position change. This change in position is known as displacement. The word displacement implies that an object has moved or has been displaced. So as we see here, our project's uh, displacement, the maximum uh, analysis done by the same solid is 2.4417 times 10 to the power of negative 1. So next is the deformation. Next slide, bro. Deformation. In engineering, the deformation refers to the change in size or shape of an object. Depending on the type of material size and geometry of the object the, and the force applied, various types of deformation may result. So the deformation here we can see here is the fan blades. Actually, most of the parts have their own deformation process. So we shown here is the fan blade. Next. So next is the one misses. One misses uh, is a stress value used to determine if a given material with yield of fracture. It is mostly used of for ductile materials such as metals. So the maximum one misses stress shown here is 6.6877. 
MPA. Next. So the factor of safety. The factor of safety is to express how much stronger a system is than it needs to be for an intended load. So actually, this factor of safety is very, very important in engineering design to ensure the safety of those yeah. items. Each component is designed to bear more loads than its actual operating loads. Next. So the safety factor is calculated here. The formula is ultimate stress over the maximum worn mixer stress. So here we get 86.73 times 10 to the power of 6. So the design is over design, but it is safe. So next is the techniques to improve uh, design failure during analysis. First of all, the materials need to be modified by changing some of the parts to aluminium so that it will be more compatible and it get ductile. So next is, is reduced. Time out, time out. You can proceed with uh, idea to improve. La. It's okay. Okay, right. okay, the ideas to improve this device. The improvement can be made to this beam is with, equipped with flight planning software. So the flight planning software is actually, um, it produces uh, uh, basically a GPS, um, which, which they can, the farmers can determine the area of the cover after the pesticide chemical spray. So this will basically help farmers who owns a larger area of land, agricultural land containing crops. So next, this drone also can be improvised by lifting uh, by lifting altitude sensors. So these sensors is uh, basically when the land is in slanted position, so the drone enable uh, the, this feature will enable the drone to adjust its height from the ground level. So drone pilot no need to struggle a lot by controlling it manually. So next is the, this drone can be improved by increasing the base uh, of its landing gear. So if the landing gear is wider, the support of the drone while landing will be more. So on ground, this drone can be very stable. So next is the tank also can be improvised by lifting the Sorry, the, by fitting the tank outside of the casing. So in this drone, the tank is situa situated inside the casing. So if it is situated outside the casing, it is it will be very easier for the farmers to refill the pesticides chemical. So that's all from me. Next, I'll pass it to Boom. Thank you. All right, this is for our presentation and this is our conclusion. Thank you. Okay, all right. Okay, Encik Nawazwa, any question? Uh, first, uh, uh, kita pergi ke you punya break, break out dia punya harga per piece yang item tu. Harga individual parts. Okay, next. Okay. So, for the arm, I'm using aluminium, right? Ah, uh, yes. Okay. May I, I know the manual method to produce this arm? Because you are talking about 5,000 pieces, 5,000 units to be You have a plan to sell 5,000 units. Uh -huh. Okay. So, 5,000 times 6, so we are talking about 30,000, 32,000 parts. So, macam mana yang you nak pakai untuk hasilkan arm ni, untuk hasilkan arm? Clear tak soalan I? Sorry, sir. Tak clear, sir. Ya, okay, saya ulang, saya ulang. Mungkin saya tolong Encik Mazuan. Okay, macam mana awak nak uh, produce arm ni? Kalau ikut awak punya market tadi, 5,000 unit awak nak jual. Okay, sekarang kalau 5, 5 darab dengan 6 ialah 30,000. Okay, dalam 30 unit macam mana awak nak fabricate tu? Tu soalan dia, betul Encik Mazuan? Betul, betul. Okay, okay macam mana proses betul. awak nak fabricate dia? Ni, arm. Uh, hello. Uh, dalam proses fabrication ni 
Hello. Uh, kita akan Hello. Uh, Hello, hello. Yes, yes. Ah, okay, okay. Yes. Uh, dalam proses fragmentation ni kita akan guna uh, the Katia software to design the arms and then we we'll use the 3D painting. 3D painting to 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 the printer. The, oh. 3D printer. The spray. Yes, yes. 3D printer to produce elements. Tak clear sir. Boleh ulang? Uh, uh, macam you punya kawan cakap, untuk hasilkan aluminium arm ni, menggunakan 3D printer, betul? Betul, betul. betul. So how long you nak produce 30,000 part? Uh, in uh, slow, uh, 5 to 10 months lah. Then? Uh, 5 bulan ke 10 bulan. Betul ke Cik Rafi? Saya saya boleh gelak eh ini lah ini PKP. <laughs> so, so for the aluminium ni you uh, you letak cost 4 ringgit and 50 sen each menggunakan 3D print impossible you can get that price lah 4 ringgit 50 sen. Impossible. Ah uh, the price for the aluminium is the for each of the meta uh, aluminium plate only oh, oh but for the 3d printer it, uh, we are not count count yet okay okay actually kalau 3d printer based on my experience lah kalau yang uh, plastik pun yeah. quite expensive if aluminium mungkin the material around you can consider material one uh, one kg kalau plastik maybe for 400 ringgit Kalau kita nak buat itu berapa kilo kita jemil pakai benda tu. Maksud dia kalau awak nak produce satu part dia mungkin walaupun prototype satu part saja mungkin 1500 satu arm. Mungkin. Jadi awak possible tak you nak buat dengan harga ni untuk produce. Yang the best part method to fabricate actually uh, gunakan uh, uh, sheet metal apa laser and then kita pakai bending method untuk kita buat dah untuk arm dia. Uh, at the last pada session ni saya akan tunjuk drone yang saya dah buat. Okay. Okay. Mungkin Encik Mazwan ada nak tambah? Actually <laughs> untuk you punya kos around RM17,600 ni sangat-sangat murah lah for one unit of agriculture punya drone lah. So I just yeah, comment yeah. about Dia mahal sebab engine Nova 2400 generator ni dia uh, dari daripada US. So US cost dia uh, generator cost ni dia, uh, around 4128 US dollar. So when it change to the Malaysia ringgit it will be 17000. So the cost of the engine generator is the most expensive one. Uh, actually murah lah. Overall you punya cost ni murah. Dimension murah. Ya, Sebab betul. Sebab, Sebab, Sebab kita punya itu company alternatif, uh, kita nak buat barang yang affordable bagi uh, masyarakat. Yes, I, I know uh, Mr. Bon Zian, but, but actually you not count uh, the cost to produce the part. Ya, ya, ya. Sebab, sir, uh, ini price pun kita uh, belum tahu lagi lah sebab Masa PKP, uh, we just search in internet. So we don't know the actual price of the, uh, the parts all lah. That's why the problem lah. Mm. Yeah. We just but, search but, from the internet. Yes, but overall uh, good. It's, it's a good, uh, presentation actually. Sebab you had the cost, all those, everything. And then it's, it's a good start actually. Thank you.
Okay, okay thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank okay. you to group two. Maybe we proceed with group number three. Okay, but however, uh, you all semua kena wait until the finish. Eh? Okay, all right. Good input from Mr. Mazwan. Eh? Maybe you, dia tanya tu sebenarnya dia nak share knowledge. So, you all try jawab. But at the same time, they, they counter with industry here. How to counter major that problem. Okay, all right. Saya terus buka langsung sebab uh, nak jemaatkan masa. Boleh mula saya? Okay. Boleh. Okay, okay proceed, proceed right now. Sorry. Boleh nampak kan? Screen. Okay, sebelum kita mula, uh, before we start our presentation, I would, I would, I would like to show our montage uh, video and preview for the uh, drone model. For that, we, uh, I want to ask, can you hear the sound from the uh, video? Yes. 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 Okay. Now we continue with our presentation. Assalamualaikum and a very good evening to Encik Muhammad Rafi bin Omar, our lecturer for BMMA 2353 Modeling and Computer Analysis and to our panel uh, judges. Uh, Mr. Norma Mustafa. My name is Muhammad Azhar bin Muhammad Noh, act as the project manager and beside me is Nazira binti Musin, assistant project manager uh, and then Muhammad Kayum bin Muhammad Fuad, chief design engineer followed by Muhammad Nukman bin Jamaluddin uh, in financial and documentation and finally Muhammad Nabil bin Nor Hisham, Assistant Design Engineer. Our company's name is Self Fire Engineering Co Company. The name Self Fire Engineering Company was inspired from a gemstone called Self Fire, which is a very high quality and very rare gemstone to come by and are often related to the heaven, which give it the nickname the Divine Stone. The sub in some sculpture in Christianity is seen as the gemstone of purity, wisdom, and chastity. We choose this name to represent our company as top-notch among its class that provide a very high quality technology with experience and knowledge in the industry. Next, this is our logo, the Sapphire Engineering logo that's inspired from a sapphire and adapt the concept of minimal minimalize. The color with the, that we choose is red and coral, that are easily to notice and used to show strength, bold, and elegance. Finally, we want to the logo to represent wisdom, professional, and trust uh, to toward the customer. This is um, our mission and vision. Wait, this is our uh, mission and vision. Our mission is to be the most trusted, respected, and awarded company in the, in the industry and develop lasting client relationship by providing high-class service. Next, our vision is with our company motto, innovation created here. We hope that our company will be one of the factors that shape the innovation for our future. For the next slide, uh, will be represented by Nazira and Ahmad Numan. Proceed. So, um, for introduction, our project title is Terok Daktai Strike One, and our objective is develop the fire extinguisher drone model that can help to put down fires with efficient and quickly. Second, ensure the safety of the firefighter on the location. Third. To create a drone technology that can be easily controlled and operated by human.
Lukman, Lukman. For the scope, scope of this, we develop new drone technology to help firefighter in Malaysia. Compilation to put down on long distance high structure and inaccessible locations such as tall buildings. And then to avoid unknown hazard that can cause dangers if firefighter goes to the building. So the alternative is we use the drone. Yeah, next. Yeah. Brief explanation uh, on the device. The Terodaksat Strike 1 is a fire extinguisher drone developed by Sapphire Engineering Company. Uh, this drone is intended to help the firefighter in Malaysia to face various obstacles to put down fires such as when the fire is on the hill, it can be difficult to reach because of its geographical surface or when cloud of toxic smoke is too thick to make it dangerous to stand close to it. One, one. For the device overview, common substance used inside the fire extinguisher is mixture of foam and water. It has the ability to fly at maximum altitude of 400 feet with technology of flight controller, which is circuit board that measure PS position, atmospheric condition, and wind speed. Uh, the, the drone is carrying two set of fire extinguisher tank with weight of 30 to 40 kg to be shot onto the direction of fire. The maximum height of So, uh, the this is the, the uh, one of the drone material that we chose. Firstly, is the carbon fiber reinforced composite or CRFCS. A uh, fiber reinforced composite material that use carbon fiber as the primary structure. Yeah, uh, the carbon fiber also have a light weight that is suitable to fly a drone that carrying uh, some heavy some heavy tanks and then the material is also uh, strong because if we want the material material is because if we want the material to be last uh, long lasting we should uh, create the drone that can perform in any uh, situation Used in manufacturing of numerous products. Next. Zira. Uh, next is polythermite. Polythermite is able to resist high temperature with stable electrical properties over a wide range of frequencies. This high strength material offer excellent chemical resistance and dark type properties suitable for various applications even those including steam exposure next is we also use aluminum alloy as we know aluminum alloy is light strong high strength to weight ratio and corrosion resistant non-toxic non-magnetic non-sparking and non-combustible Okay, that's only for our part and then we will pass the uh, model design to our two engineers Muhammad Nabil and Muhammad Kayum. Take the show. Hello. Uh, hey, uh, uh, my name is Muhammad Kayum. Okay, today uh, uh, this design, uh, we use uh, dual propeller, and then uh, the the motor is powered by high torsion, can lift uh, this thirty six uh, kilogram for six uh, motor, and then uh, the plate or the stage uh, and the base 
we use uh, carbon fiber for for to put the motherboard and another receiver electronic okay uh, for the case uh, we use uh, uh, the material that can receive the high temperature and uh, and built in with uh, speaker uh, next okay so for the other part i'm going to show this we have the head which is made out of from aluminium alloy and then we have two fire two extinguishers tanks built under here which is uh, built by alloy also and then we have what we call a control room that will become a trigger mechanism for the for the fire extinguisher to be released and it will come out of this nozzle here and here through this pipe. Okay, so that's all from us. I will throw back throw this presentation back to Adha. Okay, yeah, can yeah. you see my screen? I has uh, I has present the ideas to a chief officer firefighter, and this is his opinion on the idea of the drone. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Selamat sejahtera. Saya Muhammad Hanif bin Salaini, pegawai bomba lapangan terbang Sultan Mahmud. Okay, mengenai projek ini, apa yang telah diberitakan kepada saya, saya amatlah bersetuju. Uh, dalam melaksanakan projek ini iaitu drone bomber seperti yang kita sedia maklum apabila berlakunya kebakaran di sesuatu tempat anggota bomba ni lah yang akan menjadi first responder untuk dikerahkan ke lokasi tetapi bila adanya dengan uh, drone ini sedikit sebanyak dia akan membantu anggota bomba dalam dari segi uh, tenaga dan masa bermaksud um it seems that our time is up so we had to cut to the cut uh, cut that's all from us for the presentation thank you okay okay encik no masbat please so boleh tak kita return to slide which is yang you tunjuk dia punya design uh, Kayum boleh tunjuk design So actually for the big bucket, I panggil bucket lah eh. So dalam tu pun akan ada material untuk macam fire extinguisher ke macam mana ke dekat bawah tu sahaja? Kalau ikut ke specification yang Encik Rafi bagi, kami sepatutnya letak uh, letak okay, so engine tak. dekat bawah tu. So okay, dalam tu engine bawah ni je yang akan ada fire extinguisher. So ni macam buat untuk cover cover je lah. Cover. Ah uh, yes. So, okay. so yang fire extinguisher ni kapasiti dia berapa banyak? Ah uh, setiap fire extinguisher ni kapasiti dia 2 kilo. 2 kilo? Yes, kami pilih 2 kilo. 2 kilo actually uh, fire is tinggi for dapur tau tak? Dapur rumah. Dapur rumah. Yang kita pakai dalam rumah. 2 kilo. Betul? Betul. The smallest fire extinguisher apa fire extinguisher lah kan? Betul? Ya yeah, betul. Ya yeah, betul. So if you are talking about lapangan terbang, kebakaran lapangan terbang, 4 kilo is not enough. Ah, uh, Cik, uh, sorry. Actually, dalam video yang pegawai uh, 
apa ketua pegawai bomba tadi dia ada explain uh, actually untuk first yang ni adalah untuk bantuan awal so kalau ada dia bukan bukan untuk building yang besar-besar untuk bantuan awal sebelum bomba datang sebelum total loss rumah tu so uh, bantuan awal contohlah macam kalau kawasan tu ada hill bukit kita tak nak dia merebak so drone ni digunakan untuk bantuan awal untuk uh, redakan reducekan dia punya spread tu sebelum anggota bomba lain datang uh, dan dia orang akan buat preparation untuk uh, memadam api tersebut so yang uh, seperti dijelaskan ada uh, uh, oleh chief chief officer firefighter tadi ini adalah boleh digunakan sebagai bantuan awal untuk uh, pemadaman api sebab itulah kami gunakan yang kecil ni satu lagi dia boleh uh, di replace balik dia bukan stick on so dia boleh refill uh. hmm. so fire apa ni drone yang you buat ni can control from balai bomba yes bantuan awal dia bukan kontrol dari balai bomba sebab kalau kontrol dari balai bomba kita nak uh, possibility untuk nampak tu susah so untuk unit lain datang unit awalan yang seperti unit yang kita pakai pakai pejero apa semua kan uh, dia orang boleh sampai dulu sebab truck ni besar so hmm. untuk sampai kat sana tahu-tahu lah rakyat Malaysia kan kadang-kadang pakai emergency land kan so kalau yang Uh, untuk peronda yang dekat-dekat dari situ, orang boleh buat initial uh, um, initial apa orang cakap initial action untuk redakan supaya dia tak tak, tak spread. Kalau kita tengok kadang-kadang uh, rumah terbakar tapi bomba sembur dekat rumah lain kan. Uh, yang tu memang dah total loss. So dia orang nak reducekan kawasan of spread. So untuk drone ni dia boleh reducekan kawasan untuk spread. Sebab dia boleh guna macam-macam jenis tu. Uh, CO2 lepas tu boleh pakai water ataupun chemical composite punya tu tapi uh, dicadang uh, dicadangkan menggunakan foam dengan water combination tu boleh uh, memadam up, uh, apa chemical eh bukan apa nama tu minyak minyak ah uh. so kalau ada berlaku minyak kebakar macam kereta kan dia berlanggar dengan tiang lampu terbakar So agak bahaya lah. So kita pakai dengan foam tu lah. Satu lagi kadang-kadang kalau tiang tu jatuh and then kereta terbakar, charge ada dekat lantai tau. So kita uh, untuk berhati-hati, kita gunakan drone ni untuk padam sembur dekat kawasan-kawasan tu untuk reducekan. And then dia orang akan boleh analyse sekali apa next step dia. So kita tak nak dia berempak makin bahaya lah. Cik so, Noor Mazlan boleh buka kamera okay, sekejap lah. Saya nak ambil gambar. Cik Noor Mazlan boleh buka kamera sekejap. Okay. So, so, saya punya komen je lah. It's not about soalan lah kan. Bagi saya, persifat kilo, dua kilo setiap saat ni sangat sakit. Not even to control. Tak, tak boleh control pun dua kilo ni. So, saya punya komen why not for the actually saya ingat the full bucket ni actually fire extinguisher boleh refill dengan fire extinguisher so why not you gunakan you punya bucket tu jadi you punya control all those things punya elektronik tak sebesar tu lah you can have the same concept as a previous team number two so With difference, the team nombor tu will be, dia akan sembuh racun. You can convert tank and then just tembak. You punya tu lah. Fire, 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 Tapi sir, engine tu memang besar sir. Yes, he is. Oh, berapa kilo ni? Ya, engine tu saja. So. Apa? Berapa kilo? Eh, ni macam satu juga. Uh, melalui, melalui restage yang saya buat. Engine tu saja sekali dengan fuel uh, dalam dia. Dalam 23 kilo. Tambah lagi dengan berat engine. 
Lepas tu dia punya uh, Enjin tu dia punya lebak dia Kalau tak silap saya 300mm 200mm uh, tinggi dia dalam 400mm so dekat situ pun dah besar dah So kalau bagi saya lah Enjin kalau nak produce sebab saya minat Dengan uh, design ni Memang saya minat sangat-sangat so Kalau nak buat betul kita boleh buat uh, Enjin tu dia duduk dekat atas Tak ada masalah kalau kita nak buat kat atas Fire execution tu kita tak bawah Bucket tu kita guna untuk kan fire execution Tapi saya minat dengan design ni tak tiba Aku hmm, minat dengan Cik Syafiq So berat injek dia 23 kilo Betul? Betul, betul Sekali dengan Afiq 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 So berat kenderaan Berat kenderaan Katalah Ya yeah. Berat kereta Berat kereta Se-off dulu kamera, saya try cakap ha, Saya rasa macam tu, okay Saya minta Siapa maaf dia? Ya saya Tak apa, tak apa Berat dia 23 kilo Okay Okay, okay. Dia, lah, dia. dia boleh bawa okay. Untung Tak kilo Tak kenyap Contoh dia basah Tapi boleh bawa barang 4 kilo saja. Rupanya untung Okay 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 kalau macam uh, Yang tu saya tak dapat lah Dia punya exact uh, Engine tu dia boleh angkut berapa Berat dia Tapi saya rasa dengan kapasiti enjin yang besar dan fuel in, fuel dia punya minyak pun boleh mengusir banyak saya rasa benda enjin ni sebenarnya boleh angkut uh, berat yang besar saya tak rasa, saya rasa uh, apa dah fire extinguisher tu sebenarnya boleh lagi uh, boleh kita boleh buat banyak lagi dekat bawah tu cuma nya maybe lah uh, disebabkan uh, kekangan masa kekangan ni depa tak boleh buat banyak yeah. tapi tapi boleh buat banyak jangan risau yang tu je Tak tak dengar lah cik Ok terima kasih Boleh bergerak ke nombor grup seterusnya Boleh lah Terima kasih Terima kasih cik Boleh saya boleh saya Tapi soalan untuk okay. yang grup okay. Kalau apa ni jangan tanya apa sebab saya punya grup Apa? Lepas ni grup saya Nampak tak? Nampak tak? Nampak 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 seri Full screen lah Full screen Okay, Bandera okay. boleh montage video Boleh dengar tak? Dengar tak? Ustaz Badrin tak, tak masuk ni, tak masuk ni Try sikit ni Try ni Tak dengar, tak dengar, tak, tak, dengar. tak dengar Tak dengar, tak dengar Sekejap Tak dengar abad, tak dengar Baik sekali Pak Okay, dengar tak? No No Okay, okay dengar, dengar sikit ya. Dengar sikit ya. Tak apalah kalau tak ada, tak ada sorok pun Kasih jadi Uh, saya minta maaf sebab kami punya audio ada masalah So ni sebahagian daripada kami punya montage Boleh tengoklah uh, proses penghasilan Kalau ada lagu ni smart sikit ni Thank <laughs> you. 
jadi macam tiga Okay, Badrin boleh terus ke start. Okay, Assalamualaikum and very good evening to our lecturer, to my friend, to our lecturer, uh, Serafi. So, uh, today uh, I will discuss, I will present to you about our product which is uh, Adventurous Drop. So, the right side is our logo company, Winsay Empire. So, Uh, dekat bawah tu dia tulis Adventurous Drone So uh, untuk kali ni punya projek uh, Buncik Empire akan buat Adventurous Drone Sebenarnya uh, Buncik Empire uh, ya, ialah syarikat yang register with SSM Then our company is uh, focusing on producing and repairing uh, technology electronic So uh, Our drone is used to capture and monitor uh, around uh, rainforest. So that is, uh, we choose uh, Adventurous as our name of our drone. And the logo show um, uh, the right the right hand, uh, eh, tangan kanan dia pegang uh, screwdriver. Ni bermaksud uh, kami punya company uh, menggunakan screwdriver ni untuk repair dan produce kami punya produk dan sebelah kanan memegang uh, handphone iaitu teknologi untuk uh, kami produce lah. So, grup kami terdiri daripada next slide. Next slide. So, uh, saya sendiri Muhammad Syafiq B. Abdul Talib sebagai project manager. Uh, manufacturing manager kami iaitu Muhammad Badrin uh, bin Shan Suhaimi and procurement uh, manager uh, ialah Muhammad Ari Afnan uh, engineering manager uh, ialah Aiman Najmi bin Muhammad Sabri dan production manager ialah uh, Nick Muhammad Faris next slide so this uh, ni kami punya uh, actual drone boleh nampak lah uh, keindahan dia macam tu. So next slide. Apa yang ada dekat drone kami? So uh, apa yang di request oleh Serafi sendiri, kami mempunyai uh, empat stage uh, empat stage uh, untuk drone. So lepas tu kami menggunakan uh, riverside propeller. Kalau boleh tengok daripada drone drone lain, uh, dia talak ke atas. So kami punya drone uh, dia talak ke bawah. Dan kami punya kaki Hello. boleh lipat uh, Dan kami punya arm pun boleh lipat So dekat sini kami boleh mengelakkan masalah daripada uh, Yang 2 meter pada tadi tu So senang nak masuk dalam uh, kenderaan untuk dibawa uh, Monitor di mana-mana tempat So dekat sini boleh tengok juga uh, Cover drone kami boleh nampak dekat situ dia tinggal advanced race uh, Nampak lah stylish sikit Lepas tu aerodynamic kan uh, Okay, visual camera. Ah, dekat sini lah. Macam saya cakap tadi, drone kami digunakan untuk uh, capture gambar-gambar yang indah dan monitor tempat-tempat yang ni. Okay, kalau kita pakai drone, apa yang perlu ada dekat drone sebenarnya? Drone ni uh, kita nak guna untuk uh, bawa ke satu-satu tempat. So, pada waktu malam kita perlukan signal lamp yang pasti. Kalau tidak, kita tak nampak kita punya drone. Macam tadi kita ada arm yang boleh lipat. So dekat situ kita dah boleh mengatasi masalah yang sempit-sempit, tempat-tempat yang sempit macam tu. Ah di situ. Okey baik. Next slide. Okey, next slide. Our project title is Adventure Drone. We fly mission throughout the world connecting people who know drone best with people who need them the most. We see drones and geopolitical technology as a powerful and exciting tool that can be used to make the world a better place. Our goal is to demonstrate and promote the great potential of drones across all different geography in the world and support local communities. There are five objectives of this project. 
first to be used at the challenging geography across the world. Then use the long lasting and durable drone to support local communities and last but not least to maximize the capability of our drone. Next. Okay, this is our catching of adventure drone. As you can see, we use uh, five different material, which is titanium, aluminium, plastic, graphite, and stainless steel. Titanium is the hardest material which is can enhance the strength of the drone. It will make the drone more durable. Aluminium, it can conduct heat most of other materials so that it can help the, the reduce the temperature of drone. Also like in weight. Plastic can reduce the cost of the production because the price is cheap. Also like in weight, this material is easy to find or produce. Graphite is a type of carbon. It can reduce the rate of, of corrosion and can make our drone more sustained in different types of geography. Stainless okay. steel metal is formed when the raw material of nickel, iron, chrome, silicon, molybdenum, molybdenum, and others are melted together. Stainless steel metal contains a variety of basic chemical elements that we that when fused together, it will create a powerful alloy to make our drone more most long lasting. Okay, next. Okay, uh, for the for the concept design, uh, the former can fly independently, whereas later need pilot for direction. Uh, the second one is drone that poses a large number of motors, and the third one is even if any motor stops on flying, it stops propellers that are working in groups. Next, next, next slide. Okay, this is a bit of material that consists of 14 parts. Uh, back, 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 build, build of material. So this is a build of material of our drones uh, that consists of 14 parts. That is a screw for camera, screw for lamp, basic screw, nut, lamp, arm, engine motor, motor place, hex screw, stage, propeller, cover frame body, landing foot, one and two adjustable screw. Uh, so the the material we use is a titanium, a plastic alloy, and so on. So next slide. Okay, dengar dengar tak? Okay, for the structural analysis result, this is our contact force and connection. We just uh, uh, force is 225.63 Newton at the arm and the propeller. Next. Okay, for, for the analysis criteria, we can see the dis displacement magnitude. Our max value is 1.172 as uh, the power of 1. The minimum is 9.717, the power of negative 1. So for the warm stress, max stress, equivalent strain, and our factor of SST is 1.4. The status is plus. Next. Next. But, okay. Uh, we, we use using solid to do the analysis. We can see the max of the warm stress is 1.867, the power of 1, and the minimum is 1.4876, the power of negative 5. Next, Madrin. Next. Okay, for the factor of safety, factor determines the load and the material that we make application. We get 1.4 for the factor of safety. The value is still in the range that is greater than 1 and less than 5. So our product material and design is suitable and good to use even after load is applied. Discussion on technique. Making change to the part that caused the failure, such as material, 
modify it to larger or twin bar arm if the arm and landing foot cannot withstand the load. And lastly, alter the dimension till it can support the load. The dimension must adhere to the product standard in order for it to be suitable for use. Lastly, the conclusion. Drone nowadays is very advanced technology. They all include with GPS, Wi-Fi and other sensor. Many companies use drone to help their doing the work. So, not just professional, but traveler and even tourists that may want to capture a nice picture or video in the dangerous physical geography without physically getting up on it. Drone make it this quick and easy. Okay, that's all. First question is What is the advantage of reverse propeller? Kelebihan propeller so, di bawah Okay, uh, untuk design kali ni kita guna propeller ke bawah sebabnya Okay, kalau kita tahu uh, kalau Encik gunakan drone Bahagian atas uh, bahagian atas tu sebenarnya yang uh, penting untuk kat bahagian yang penting. So kalau uh, kita punya uh, propeller tu dekat bawah untuk kita punya safety selama uh, capai ke situ so adalah lebih selamat. So dekat situ kami punya first kami punya idea lah. Lepas tu sebenarnya Ikutkan tak ada lagi lah. Uh, ada sebenarnya yang gunakan propeller ni ke bawah. Cuma ni tak uh, design dia tak banyak. So kami gunakan uh, peluang ni untuk buat uh, propeller ke bawah. Yang tu sahaja. Dapat rasa? Dapat eh? So okay. boleh buka bom tak? Bom. Buka apa? Bom, bom, bill of material. Bill of material. Oh, bill of Minta maaf tak. Istilah dia kalau ni bom lah, B-O-M lah eh, bom. Dalam industri lah. Dalam industri lah. Nampak, kamu boleh lah panggil. Nampak, so, nampak. boleh tahu tak? Siapa punya pakai titanium punya material ni eh ah uh, idea bersama rasa uh, uh. so normally titanium punya screw ni pakai kat mana ah uh, baterin jawab sat baterin yang tu baterin apa ah uh, sebenarnya saya rasa macam ni sir okey apa selalunya ah uh, aiman silakan Okey, selalunya titanium ni uh, saya boleh nampak lah dekat bahagian motor sebenarnya sebab saya apa ada motor kan, saya pun guna uh, apa titanium screw dia guna untuk bagi lebih kuat ikatan tu holder tu lebih kuat, dia guna kat bahagian contoh nak ikat uh, apa uh, engine dengan stand kaki uh, contoh dia Berapa kali kuat is kuat dia, dia lebih kuat je kan Dia Kadang bila kita guna Screw standard dia Dia macam ada yang Bila kita kunci ketat dia terputus Tengah ha, so Dengan guna screw ni Dia lebih kuat lah daripada yang Contoh kalau Screw biasa standard uh, Tok dia boleh sampai 10% kalau ni dalam 13, 14, macam tu rasa. Lagipun rasa uh, titanium ni dengan warna Tak dengar rasa. Apa ni? Saya cakap 
Ha, sebenarnya uh, selain daripada dia punya tahap kekuatan tu sebenarnya kami minat juga dengan dia punya warna warna dia punya dia, dia punya warna dia punya appearance so daripada situ lah kami tengok okey cantik so apa kata kita apply kat kita punya drone nyanta je lah okey so dia berlawanan dengan conclusion tadi lah berlawanan dengan conclusion tadi Oh, okay. Conclusion. Sebab okay, conclusion okay. tadi ada men- ada mention rare dan pensif sebelum ni. Jadinya drone oh, okay. yang you punya group buat ni nak buat less expensive lah betul? Yes. Ha. Ah, Okay, uh, my last question. Okay. Uh, my last okay. question boleh? Boleh. boleh, okay, boleh can boleh, you boleh. open back your analysis? Analysis. 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 Okay. Okay. Okay, we, uh, the maximum stress is 1.49. Okay. How about the uh, fatigue of safety for this product? 1.4. 1.4 sir. 1.4. This this one is one misses. Factor of safety. Man, sir. Ah, uh, uh, tunjuk baik, tunjuk baik. Bateri yang 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 tadi yang banyak tu, yang sebelum mana? Ah, ni. Yang. Which one? Okay, 1.4. Okay, how you 1. define 1.4? Uh, factor of safety, man. So, uh, for the factor of safety, we uh, we got the apa? We got the uh, apa? The yield yield stress for the titanium, which is one point four power of positive eight divided by ini, apa? Maximum maximum warm stress. Okay, maximum warm stress for what? Because you have a variant material. Because you have a plastic, you have a... Okay. Awak ada banyak material kat sini. Titanium. Titanium. Titanium basically orang masuk dalam badan. Screw-screw titanium macam tu. Buat bionic in dalam ni kan. Selalu macam tu. Satu screw titanium lebih kurang lima puluh enam puluh ringgit je lah. Tak tahu, ya kot cik no masalah. Dari tu waktu saya buat apa, tangan palsu tu ada kan. So. Okay, my question. Okay. Patrin? Ay, tadi kan <laughs> macam mana? So, so you have a varian material lah. Okay. Um, saya pusing sikit soalan ke tak boleh jawab macam mana tu. <laughs> saya, saya, tadi tadi soalan lain saya, saya sediakan soalan lain lah tadi Jawapan ni Soalan apa? <laughs> okay sir, okay uh, Macam nak cakap lah uh. <laughs> Okay, which, uh, uh, which of uh, what mister you use for find out the uh, factor of safety so That you have a variation material dalam ni Hmm, so tapi main main dia main dia tak lah okay. titanium semua. That, that main awak kena fokus dekat structure yang mana untuk angkat load yang mana turun. Ah ya itulah nah, main betul. dia. Maksud dia dia punya body ya, yang attach dengan semua tu. Ha, jadi that is material yang awak kena consider. Ah so bukan lah, kawa kan yang bawah ni ke kawa bawah ni mungkin plastik lah dia mungkin yang itu kita tak jadi main dia untuk kita of safety ah betul 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 ah tu tu okey alright encik okay. nomaz wan ada apa-apa question lagi sorry ya lah, tadi ada masalah sikit sorry ah oh, okey 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 apa apa tak apa tak apa ini kan okey maybe kita proses dengan dah 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 berapa peluh lah Encik Mazun? Encik okay. Mazun
group please okay, okay. hello nanda shesti nanda ah boleh boleh nampak tak pandai this one actually group five group five <laughs> one more group kan ni group ah uh, group five Okay, okay, one more, the last group. Okay, pass the... Okay, Nanda, okay? Okay, okay. Okay, alright. Okay, kita mulia. Hai, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And a very good morning to Mr. Rafi and our panel. Today for the presentation, Encik uh, Norma Mustafa. Okay. Today, I would like to share about my, our project. Arit, tak dengar Arit. Arit. Arit, Arit. Arit, tak keluar sana. Arit. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Mulis, mulis, mulis. Tengok cok sini. Arit, Arit. Arit, tak keluar sana, Arit. Ya, ada sini. Okey, okey. Okey. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okey, clear. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Assalamualaikum and a very good morning to Mr. Rafi and our panel and Cik Norma Mustafa and to uh, my fellow friends. So today I would like to share about my drone, uh, the view of the sky. So my our group names, our group names is the fifth mind designer. Okay, next uh, the organizer chat. Uh, I, Muhammad Harid, uh, Muhammad Harid and Muhammad Suki as a project manager and our system manager is Akim, financial, FID and our designer Aiman and lastly our secretary uh, Fernanda. Okay, next. Okay, so the job scope. Uh, I, project manager, the job scope is make, uh, make uh, the final decision and lead the group project. Our assistant manager, Hakim, assist the manager to do the project. Our financial, doing the financial works, doing the financial works and designer, design the product according to the customer desire. And our secretary assist the financial and take note the meeting. Okay, next. Next. Okay. Next, 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 next. Okay, the introduction. Uh -huh. uh, our project title is a view of from the sky. This name is picked from the function of the drone itself. The function is provided a view from the sky uh, or high view to us that on the ground. So our project uh, objective for this project is to get the view from high place to provide the new drone in era 2021 to provide drone that uh, can float in water. So the problem statement, the main problem for the drone is when they fly, it may occur it is unstable and easier to fall. It may be because of the wind too heavy. So from that, we try to make a stable drone who can fly high even though with heavy wind. Second problem is when landing to the ground, it may be too hard and make the drone broken. So we make a drone with a base uh, smooth and uh, landing a uh, base like a helicopter. Okay, next. Oh. Explanation. Eh? Uh, the drone. Okay. Overview. Oh, I mean. Man. Man. Okay, uh, this is our sketching overview. Uh, you can see in front of here. Okay, next. Okay, this is our assembly drone. Okay, next. Okay, this is our assembly drone, as we can see here. Uh, okay, we have uh, as, uh, um, 
I've been guided for us we have to make a super thing. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, boleh, boleh. Okay, this is our bomb. Ah, uh, this tendron we use a stainless steel CO2. Ah, uh, for motor arm we use uh, aluminium oil. Propeller we use aluminium oil. Ah, uh, stage drone which is we use to put our motherboard or wiring some kind of thing we use uh, aluminium. Casing drone we use plastic. Ah, uh, we use ah uh, two type of screw. Ah, uh, three mm and ten mm. Uh, which is the material is steel. <coughs> okay, we're going to jump to the financial and the cost of the component. We use uh, one stand drone. Uh, total call is RM890. Motor arm, we use uh, six motor arm and the total call is 640. Uh, propeller, we use six. Total is RM570. The stage drone, we use only one. The total cost is 1000. Casing drone, one, 850. Screw, we use uh, 3mm. Uh, the quantity is 12 and the total cost is 25. And we use another screw, the length is 10mm, 10 10mm. 10 and the total cost is 25 and overall our cost is about rm 4000 ringgit okay next uh, so my name is mohamad fernanda i is, i will explain about the von meter stress for the drone so uh, von meter stress is a uh, value that the we put the force uh, in the below of the stage and uh, get the simulation maximum is 1.4468 times power of 10 so that uh, bond meter stress uh, next is our value of displacement is maximum is 7.2 times 10 power of negative 1 so deformation uh, deformation is uh, when we apply the force uh, we can get the change uh, in shape of the drone, uh, we get the change in our stand drone that uh, that is bent to the right. So value of factor, uh, we get the uh, al almost the same value, which is that uh, safety factor low, we get the one point two five, and uh, safety factor high for the each component for, is a uh, three. Uh, it is, uh, this is a, a range between the 1 to 5 to make it safe in drone. So the yield strength we get a different uh, to, to the drone. Uh, next discussion. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Akmal Hakim bin Azizi. I'm the assistant manager of this, the fifth mind designer of this project. So during the analysis process, there are some failure that can be occur causes by the characters on the product, I mean the characters of every component of the product. But we can fix the problem by doing some modification on the component parts of the drone. The more durable materials on the motor will fix that can be hard and not easy to fall down in the air while drone will fly high, were in flight in the sky. However, uh, to make this durable material will cost more to be spent. So to minimize, to avoid the unnecessary spending, the failure can also be caused by improper dimension when we draw the drone. For example, we draw a smaller propeller that cannot fly high or make the drone fail to fly. For this problem, we can solve it by make the larger dimension of propeller that can be used to fly the drone. Okay, so for the propeller, it is suitable to choose the aluminum alloy for the material because it is lightweight and can be used to fly the drone. Aluminium alloy is vastly used in aviation business, uh, which is the main construction material for an airplane. Lastly, we can improve the motor arm that hold the propeller by using more durable material and also use a durable to stand that hold the whole, the dro the whole drone. So this means that we can use the motor arm, uh, more stronger material to design the motor arm and also use a more stronger material that is used on the pad, uh, the landing landing pad of the drone. So by upgrading the material, we cause it to be more durable and stable for the drone. 
so that um, when during impact of landing, the drone will cease to be broken. Okay, and then also it will cause the drone to um, fix its problem and so we can achieve the initial objective, which is to make the drone suitable for height in flying. Next. Okay, so the ideas to improve the drone. So the view of the sky is a device that helps people to view or see something from a higher place, from a higher point of view. So in this product, we also can improve the stand base of the drone. We can make it a bigger stand for the stability of the drone so that we can use it for aquatic landing or landing on the ground. We can also improve by making the casing more interesting to make the cast uh, to make more customer look to our drone as more appealing compared to our competitors. Okay, and also the idea that I want to improvise in doing this drone is by giving it a more powerful motor and also a big battery pack. So it can fly longer and also it can maintain flight in stability and but also in performance wise, the speed is not neglected in the area. Okay, next. So, so, so for the uh, okay, Rick. okay, Nanda. So for the uh, so for the construction, uh, we get the design for the view of the sky. It can uh, land on the water because the stain base is flat and float on the water. So this is widely used in the world now. Uh, for example, in Euro, we get the um, I see many drone in the television. Uh, we can use this to marketing our product. So that's all for the conclusion. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Hello? Yes, sir. <clears throat> Ah. <laughs> okay, maybe my question uh, first. Okay. okay, based on your drawing, which are uh, the most difficult part you uh, difficult to modeling? Uh, diamond. Mm, I think uh, the difficult part uh, uh, propeller and staging. I'll uh, be staging. Uh, a place where we hang the engine. Why difficult? Um, so may I ask? Uh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, uh, okay. So the propeller was uh, I was I uh, I'm the one in charge for designing and monitoring the progress of the propeller. So the initial idea is to make the propeller as um simi similar as a World War Two aircraft. So to tackle the problem. Uh, we had to research um, on the antique, you know, the ancient aircraft so that we can use it on our propeller. Okay, because I I was inspired by a World War II aircraft because the propeller is, is a single propeller fighter plane, but it can fly very high and also it can produce a speed that allows it to be more maneuverable, maneuverable and also fly at high speed. So that's, the, that's quite the problem when we are designing the propeller because we want the drone to be very durable but also you can, you know, the, um, it is easier to maneuver uh, even when it is used by uh, amateur in the drone industry. So that's quite the problem for the propeller. That's quite the challenge. Yeah, right. All right, thank you. Norm, Cik Norm Mazwan. 
Tak dengar ke? Tak dengar se... Putus-putus Putus ke? Eh, eh Allah Eh, you know, Mazul, well. maybe try disconnect and then connect balik Try disconnect and then masuk balik Boleh? Sangkut-sangkut ni naik, dia dah panas sangat ni, dah lama sangat <laughs> Tak baik, sir. Tak baik. Bukan yelah dia, dia kena apa? Laptop dah panas. Laptop dah panas. Haa, laptop lah. Bukan ni, dia juga laptop dia dah panas. Jadi dia kena... Adapter dia mungkin. Saya kena belanja laptop lah. Saya kena belanja laptop tu. Mungkin kita simpan lo soalan group 5 ni. Mungkin sekejap lagi dah okey, uh, Encik Noor Mazwan boleh question balik group 5. Okay, kita proceed dengan group 6. Right? Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Kita simpan, kita yeah. tahu. Okay, alright. Okay, we proceed with group number 6 lah. Sekejap, sir. Melina lain dia problem tu. Saya so, telefon Cik Noor Mazwan ni apa yang dia ingat? Saya telefon dia betul-betul tanya Nanti saya pun cik nomaz buat je. Tes, sorry. Hello. Ah, yes, sir. Uh, hello, Cik Noor Mazwan. Mungkin okay. group 5 ni the, uh, the last group. Any question maybe boleh soal-soal. Group 6 tak ada. Group 6 ada problem lain. Tak ada. Sampai group 5 tu boleh kita buat. Okay, so, silakan Cik Mazwan. Untuk design punya stage ni. Hmm. Ha? Berapa lama eh? You take ambil masa. In total. 3 to 4 hours.
Hello. Hello. Ah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Saya dengar, sir. So... Saya pun nothing much nak tanya. And then I will jump to conclusion dan sekejap lagi. Untuk overall lah. Boleh lah, Encik Rafi? Uh, boleh, boleh. Silakan Encik, Encik Nur Mazwan. Saya serahkan ha. untuk overall tu. Okay, yang so, lain pun boleh buka kamera dulu kot. Sekejap lah Encik Mazwan. Dia nak minta semua buka kamera dulu lah. Tak apa. Okay, sebelum tu tak apa Encik Mazwan cakap dulu. Lepas tu last kali pun kita sesi fotografi. Tak apa Encik Mazwan ni tak Tak dia lagging apa tu Tuhan. Alright. Okay. Uh, so... Tahniah saya ucapkan untuk semua. Saya just nak share sikit je lah sebelum kita tamatkan sesi ni. So salah satunya dalam kita nak design ni ataupun you nak design, you boleh grab, menggunakan grab cap untuk ambil standard part. Clear eh? Ini just clear, clear, clear. Ambil. ambil dekat grab cap. It's not it's not a big problem lah. Tak ada masalah. It's a open source. Dua, dalam design juga you kena detailkan standard part. Standard part ni skru dekat mana, nut kat mana, propeller, motor, you detailkan dalam you design lah. Semua group lah. Tiganya benchmarking. Benchmarking ni, uh, let's say macam soalan saya dekat group Chapik tadi, kenapa propeller dia kat bawah, step off kat atas lah. So saya nak tahu ada mana-mana benchmarking tak yang dibuat ataupun referen yang dibuat lah. Sebab actually dalam design kita tiru orang lain sebenarnya dan kita improve the design. Betul. Betul. Semua buat drone benda yang sama. Estate yang buat fire extinguisher, pertanian semua dah ada dalam produk. Tapi apa yang nak bezakan produk kita dengan produk dia. Okay. Uh, empat grup yang saya paling rasa okey grup nombor dua tadi is, uh, berkaitan dengan costing. Costing ni you kena plan daripada you start design. So daripada you start design manager dah cakap okey kita punya drone ni kita nak buat cost dia below 100,000 let's say macam tu. So daripada 100,000 baru you break you breakkan the cost ikut siapa yang buat design motor, siapa yang cari propeller, siapa yang cari up. So bila you decide cost, you you boleh juga decide how to manufacture the part. Contoh tadi saya ada tanya satu group dia kata nak pakai 3D print. Contoh eh, 3D print. Adakah cost tu reliable ataupun tak? Ha, sebab dia tak ada kos awal. Kos awal dia tak ada. Kan? Nanti orang ni buat pakai barang ni, orang ni pakai macam ni. So, lama-lama projek tu akan burst dia punya kos. Okay. That's why yang saya cakap first kita sebelum start. Design, semua orang boleh design. Tapi macam mana you nak tahu know-how nak membezakan you dengan group yang lain ataupun produk you dengan produk orang lain. Know-how to design. Okay. So costing. Uh, last sekali timeline. Timeline. You kena buat timeline. So daripada konsep sketching berapa hari you nak ambil. Nak bincang. Design berapa hari you nak bincang. Review berapa hari you nak review the data. Review ni maksud dia. Lepas you buat design, bincang balik. Okay, design ni okay tak? Cost dia okay tak? Dia boleh manufacture ke tak? So you 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 decide the timeline. I will show you some timeline. Based on actual project. I hope you can see. Okay. Nampak semua? Ada Rafi? Ah, ya, ya. Nampak, nampak. Ada, ada, ada. Nampak, nampak. nampak, nampak. 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 Okay. Ada, ada, ada. Actually, actually ni adalah this, uh, kita, saya punya timeline project, past project. Actual, actual timeline. 
So engineering design berapa lama? Data simulation NC NC machining berapa lama? Touch up mall sebab yang ni saya buat composite. So tugas manager tadi lah sebab you break the, the group ada manager, floor structure, ada siapa, ada siapa kan. So you dah bagi tugas. So so kalau siapa-siapa bagi timeline ni sebenarnya I give extra mark lah sebenarnya. Tapi no one ada kan betul? Semua group tak ada tunjuk timeline betul? Tak ada. Uh, tak ada sir. Ada ha. tapi dekat dalam report lah. Ha. So dalam report baguslah kalau dah ada. Kalau tak ada mungkin you can start buat lah sebenarnya kan. Sebab this uh, actual condition last but not least I will show you another schedule. Nampak? So this based on actual project timeline every single part until the part uh, uh, complete lah sebenarnya so saya share ni supaya semua nampak actually you want to be an engineer yang macam mana you nak jaga manufacturing ke you nak design terpulang kan i just expose je lah untuk you guys apa apa benda yang involve nanti Okay, last but not least, this my suggestion lah, suggestion eh. Next time kalau buat group, please mix. I, 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 uh, saya kena mention ni lah. So mix kan group. So tak adalah satu group. Sorry eh, saya bukan resi ke apa bukan. This uh, how we think uh, semua ada different background. Mix, mix the group lah next time This this my advice Sebab saya kerja dalam field ni Tak ada yang Melayu saja Tak ada yang Chinese saja Tak ada yang Indian saja Saya bekerja dengan semua orang Ada pecahan group So ini personal opinion je lah Personal opinion Okay Last but not least Thank you to Mr. Rafi lah So saya serahkan balik kepada Cik Rafi Uh, okay, terima kasih Cik, uh, Cik Mazwan. Maybe uh, saya akan bagi satu pelajar untuk uh, bagi kata-kata terakhir ya, ataupun Cik Mazwan ada nak pilih siapa. Tapi sebelum tu, saya nak share sikit berkenaan dengan draw project ni. Sebenarnya apa vision and uh, vision saya untuk buat projek ni. Okay, sekejap lah saya share screen sekejap. Sekejap hanya dua minit eh. Saya bukan nak bagi lecture eh. Dia nak share dengan Cik Noor Mazwan lah. Okay. Okay, sekejap. Sebelum kita akhir. Okay, nampak eh? Okay, nampak. Okay, ni sebenarnya drone bertingkat. Dia tak ada casing lagi. Ah, uh, Drone ni sebenarnya dapat grant daripada saya dah buat ni. Grant daripada plus untuk buat surveillian. Maksudnya berapa kilometer. 50 km untuk dia berjalan. Bawah ni sebenarnya engine. Yang saya bagi regulation semua ialah regulation yang benar. Projek yang betul. Ha, ni oh. antara dia terrender dia. And then ada part yang kita fabricate. Okay, kita tengok yang actual yang dah siap fabricate. Okay kita boleh tengok ni. Nampak eh? Okay, yang dah siap ni awak boleh tengok. Uh, yang macam uh, sheet metal yang tadi dia pakai aluminium. Uh, yang itu kita pakai laser cut and then kita pakai bending matching. Untuk structure main dia. Lepas tu 3D printer hanyalah certain-certain part. Kalau boleh kita buat design ni banyak gunakan standard part. Saya rasa Cik Mazwan lagi expert dalam fabricate ni. Dia banyak standard part dan kita kurangkan uh, part yang custom made. Pasal kita orang daripada FKMP untuk buat structure. Yang main kita akan bagi faculty electric ke apa. Untuk sambung buat dia punya engine tu. Okay and then dalam bahasa yang sama. Uh, untuk saya share ni sebenarnya projek-projek student ni uh, Yang untuk drone ni sebenarnya saya ada uh, Macam inspirasi lah lepas dah siap budak-budak uh, Yang tahun ni dua ni siap dah fabricate Sepatutnya kita akan bagi fakulti lain untuk dia pasang motor-motor Baru kita nampak ke sini ambung kan Satu-satu projek and then diorang boleh uh, Sambung lah untuk terus buat Itulah sebenarnya yang uh, saya cuba tetapi bila 
buat 100% online benda tu agak sukar lah Challenging yang knowledge saya nak transfer pun semua melalui online Agak sukar berbanding tahun satu Tahun satu sebab dia ada dekat kampus Saya sempat lagi uh, de, uh, bagi dia orang uh, knowledge And then dia orang pun dapat feel untuk buat prototype Ini tahun satu lah kalau saya tunjuk gambar Okay mungkin Cik Mazlan ada apa-apa sama -apa, Tak ada apa, saya ucapkan tahniah lah kepada semua hmm. So, Cik Rafi ni dia akan bagi saya macam tu lah You guys set up Ada vision, maybe sampai until 4 year ke projek ni berjalan lah So, you guys can produce the part Boleh face the real situation lah That's it Okay, maybe sebelum last Akhir kata saya nak minta satu pelajar, wakil Untuk bagi Ha, sedikit ucapan lah kepada Encik uh, panel kita Skema betul lah kena bagi ucapan <laughs> Ya yeah, last lah kita bagi Ataupun kau dah pilih apa kamu No what's it Last Ada siapa-siapa calon eh Siapa? Ah, Ahmad Faidi Ahmad Faidi Okay Ahmad Faidi silakan <laughs> Silakan yeah, Ahmad Faidi jawab apa tu? Tegak Eh dia nak ada Okay tu ucapan eh Uh, terima kasih lah kepada uh, panel kita pada malam ini Encik uh, Terima kasih kerana sudi untuk hadir uh, presentasi kami yang tak seberapa Minta maaf lah ada banyak kekurangan dan uh, kesilapan pada kami uh, Dan terima kasih juga kepada lecturer kami iaitu Encik Muhammad Rafi bin Omar Terima kasih banyak kerana memberi peluang kepada kami untuk uh, dia mengambil pengalaman lah untuk mana drone walaupun tak dapat nak fabricate kan dia uh, Saya kata itu saja Okay itu saja okay last sesi kita bergambar kita minta Cik Noh Mazlan buka kamera untuk kali terakhir Then kita dah boleh dismiss lah eh? Cik Noh Mazlan kita tunggu kita punya panel lah Okay alright Alhamdulillah Okay answer-answer apa saya cakap satu dua tiga kita ambil lah eh? Satu, dua, tiga Okay, one more lah kan ada lagi satu Sekejap lah saya save dulu Pass save M1 Okay, one more eh Saya nak try statik kan ni So far kita ada enam group Tetapi satu group tu dia ada masalah teknikal ha, Dia dah inform saya tak takpelah yang satu group tu saya settle kan Okay. okay Saya nak ucapkan ribuan terima kasih Encik Noh Mazwan Yang bagi kita masa agak 2 jam Kita ambil masa dia 2 jam setengah kalau ikut kita ambil masa dia Sepatutnya kita bayar dia Lebih kurang dia sebagai engineer 300 kurang-kurang 600 kita bayar dia Tetapi dia nak transfer oleh ke adik-adik dia Anak bangsa dia Dia bagi free je Alhamdulillah Saya, saya, saya cakap terima kasih yang tak terhingga kepada dia dan terima kasih kepada semua pelajar yang hadir untuk hari ini. Okey. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Terima kasih Cik sebab datang. Salam. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Salam. Semoga. Salam. 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 Hari kita jumpa. Thank you sir. Thank you. Okey. 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 Terima kasih banyak. Terima kasih banyak. Laju keluar semua Oh semua keluar laju Sir, markah, markah macam mana sir? Keluar bila sir? Markah malam ni dia dah boleh keluar Tanya Cik Mazwan sekejap tadi Saya minta kat dia Malam ni dia dah boleh buat keluar 50% je